Hello everybody, it's Nate here again, and uh, I'm going to do a new tutorial showing you how to layer presets again. But this time it was brought to my attention you don't need an external or an additional photo editor to be able to do this, which makes it real easy and real nice if you don't have Photoshop, for instance, to be able to do what I showed in my last tutorial. So <clears throat> let's get started. So here I have just some rocks, you know, and if I wanted to add, say, an auto fix uh, preset here, that's pretty nice. And then we want to add a, oops, remember in the last video, it overrode the one before it. So if we go and we apply the first filter, all right, then we come down, right click, hit export. And you can see I already have one made down here, but I'm going to show you how to do this. And then right here, you want to export to the same folder as the original. This was checked. I don't want that checked. You want to add this to, uh, add this image to this catalog, and then this one will be available. And you do want that one checked as well, stack with the original. Uh, file naming I leave alone. Okay, I did try this earlier by creating another DNG, which, if you don't know, this is just a digital negative file, much like a raw file. But because of that, all of the preset settings were still available. In other words, if I created that first or applied that first preset and then exported it as a DNG, I could go in and mess with those settings of that preset again and that's what I don't want because then uh, it's uh, you're able to override those again so I want a TIFF no compression 16-bit and I like Adobe RGB it's totally up to you on that image sizing I don't resize it and I leave 300 pixels per inch Output sharpening, this isn't really necessary, but I just leave that alone. Metadata, uh, I have right keywords as Lightroom Hierarchy selected. Again, these down here are basically just up to you. Uh, Post-processing, I don't want it to do anything. Um, you know, remember like going to Photoshop or something like that. So, pretty simple. I mean, there's not many settings are basically your file settings and your export location is is the two biggies right here so then we'll just hit export um, I already have one so I'm gonna overwrite that one I just did this and actually my uh, <laughs> I feel kinda silly but my mic wasn't well it was on but the settings for screen flow was set to a different mic so I had a nice little video but no sound all right, so here is this uh, image here that I just brought in. See, it's the same thing here, uh, but we have all zeros again. Remember from the last tutorial? Here's the original preset settings. Here's the zeros. So then if we just go over here back to the old school toning, and ta-da, right there, we're just layered two presets on top of each other and we never even left Lightroom much easier see if uh, we would have stacked the two on top of each other without doing that this is the image you would have gotten instead of this one I really like this one so that's all there is to it so if you don't have Photoshop no worries you can still do this just uh, select export and then uh, follow along from there pretty simple if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial take care